Right, um, now that we've completed uh, creating the animations for each of the four directions, uh, let's just have a look and see how that plays out. So you can see I'm turning around. However, you might notice that as I hold it down, he sort of takes a couple of steps and then he, he stops. Um, the reason for that is because that animation is literally just that short. Um, so to make him continue walking in that direction, uh, we have to turn on loop, and that loops the animation um, continuously, um, which uh, helps helps it to um, or tells him to continue the animation until you stop going in that direction. However, we now have a new problem, and that is that the loop doesn't stop. So, um, so when you stop moving him around, he, he continues wanting to walk in that direction. Um, so we'll just hit that so he stops. Um, so we now have to create a new uh, block of information to tell that um, to stop. Uh, to stop the animations when you stop pressing the buttons. Now, I should bring that up for myself. Um, so what we need is we need to come into game and on game updates, grab one of those. And you're going to create a new variable. Uh, your new variable is going to be called moving and we're going to tell the game that moving occurs when we press the buttons um, and so what I need to do is I need an OR clause uh, because there's four buttons, so I need to say moving is when left is pressed OR, up is pressed OR, right is pressed OR, down is pressed. So that is called moving. Um, so I just need the OR, there it is. And OR only has two, so we need three of those joined together. Join them up. Boink. Boink. Uh, and then we can drop these into the holes. space three and move that over it's a bit of a long block this one and we need to change the names so that is left up right and oops down down yeah, we want to throw this giant block, even oops, even though this is a diamond shaped block, it so amazingly will fit into that circle space there. Um, so set moving to, so we want to say moving is when left is pressed, when up is pressed, when right is pressed, or when down is pressed. Um, so that's telling the game what moving is um, and what we really want to say is if if uh, not if true but if it's not okay so if not we'll grab our variable moving so if we are not moving so if we're not doing any of those things along the top there, 
buttons. We're not pressing any of those buttons, which is called moving. Uh, we will animation stop all animation on my sprite, which is our sprite up here. Um, so now when we play the game, we can run around and he stops. Okay, so he now moves and stops, and that's exactly what we want. So congratulations, you now have an animated sprite. Well done. Thanks.